Well, they were the gold standard in softball back in the 1980s, bringing the city of Milwaukee three championships in the span of just four years. Tonight, Little is out takes us beyond the game with a special group of players who got together near the field where it all started four decades ago. Just outside this softball field in Lannan. Robert, how are you, buddy? Here too. A who's who of the famed Milwaukee Schlitz slow pitch softball team reunited at Jake's Field, a place they once called home in the late 1970s and early 80s. We were all homegrown talent, so through the years we try to stay close just to reminisce, you know, and uh, talk about good times. That's me <laughs> with the mullet. There certainly were a lot of good times. Winning the World Series against Kentucky. The, the final game, game eight, that was, uh, that was my favorite because we won and it was over. That's right. The Schlitz softball team won three men's professional softball championships in a span of four years in 1979, 1980, and 1982. We set a standard for play. We were good at what we did, and we were just a group of guys from southeast Wisconsin. You have to know how to play the game, and we knew how to play the game. We were, uh, we were good. They really were the best of the best in Milwaukee. They were just a bunch of local guys who enjoyed playing ball. They got a lot of satisfaction. They entertained a lot of fans. This place used to be packed and they had the pro games here. And even when they played before at Wilson Park, there were 4,000 people there. Uh, and it was really something that people in Wisconsin and certainly Milwaukee area really enjoyed. What added to their legacy? Well, the Schlitz played in the first game ever broadcast on ESPN in September of 1979. It was game one of the American Professional Slow Pitch Softball League World Series, a best of nine venture between the Schlitz and Kentucky Bourbons. We were hungry. We, we wanted to beat them bad. It was, it was definitely a Packers-Bears grudge match. Schlitz, Kentucky. In that game, Rick Weiderman was pitching. He became the first athlete to ever perform live on ESPN. And then it, it hit you like a ton of bricks, you know, and I went, no, I never thought of it that way. 42 years after that first game on ESPN, the memories and photographs still remain. This was the World Series MVP, yeah. Their playing days may be behind them, but the relationships remain strong. When you're part of a team or part of an organization, those bonds last forever because those are experiences you share at a time in your life when, when things are, you know, are very important. They really shape you. And soon they'll be ready to get together again to rehash those good times. I sure hope so. I hope we can keep con continue doing it because we're at that age where we cherish the happy times. In Lannan, Lily Zhao, Fox 6 Sports. I was looking to see how much Schlitz they were drinking today. Well,